Welcome, future USPS employees. This is the first time I'm creating content in English, although there are several episodes for Korean audiences. The reason for creating content in English is that many visitors to the post office have been asking how to apply for a job there. So today, I'll introduce the first step to becoming a USPS employee, which is how to register and apply. Let's dive in now. USPS hiring into Google. And you'll see several links. Ignore all of them and click on the link with this symbol. Then, you'll be directed straight to the hiring page, where you can see the names of various job positions. By clicking on each job position, you can view a description of what the position entails. It's a good idea to thoroughly read the details about each job and decide which position to apply for before leaving this page. If you've made your decision, go back to the previous page and click on the link that says, First Time Applying, located just below the names of each position. When you get to the page, you'll see a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply, listed as 1, 2, and 3. Unlike a few years ago when I applied, it seems that the order of steps 1 and 2 has changed recently. Anyway, click on Learn More for step 1. Then go to the right side and click on the Search All Available Jobs button. And click the Continue button. We've now entered the job search page. If you don't type anything in the keyword box, it will show all available jobs, but I typed sales. In the location field, enter the state you prefer, and for the function area, select delivery slash customer service, then click the start button. By doing that, you can see the stations in Colorado that are currently hiring for the PSE position. If I assume that I'm applying to the McClave office, I would click on that link and go in. Then, another window will pop up with a page to create and register your account. Fill in all the blanks, including your name, username, password, and everything else. You can easily create an account too, but since I already have one, I'll skip this part. Once you've completed everything, click the register button. I believe that after completing the registration, it will probably take you to a page where you can create your personal profile. When I went back to the previous page and clicked on step two, it took me back to the registration page again, maybe because I haven't completed the registration yet. Then let's go back to the previous page and click on number three, the take exam link. You can see that the major sections are linked as large headings. Let's go directly to type of exam. Here, you can see the code numbers for the exams required for each position. It's important to note that you need to take the exam within three days after applying for the job, as the terms section shows right below. I recommend downloading and reading the attached VEA guide below. Whether you're looking at the major headings or scrolling down, everything is on a single page. I suggest scrolling through and reading it thoroughly, as it may help you with the exam. At the very bottom, you'll see List of Exams. This section lists the four exams you need to take. Below that, Other Exams seems to indicate exams recommended for specific stations, but if you're applying for the first time, I believe you can disregard these. So, I'll conclude the 2024 USPS Job Applying Guide here, and I'll create a video on how to set up your profile next. Stay tuned! And I wish for all of your plans to go well and for everything you're working on to succeed. Thank you for watching.